I was in the Air Force years ago, and I, I had the honor of working with some astronaut trainees, um, showing them uh, on a tour of the survival school out in Spokane, Washington. And I asked one of the uh, astronaut trainees, you know, it must be really hard to memorize all those knobs in, in, in the space shuttle. And uh, it's an interesting story. He said, well, not really. He goes, here's how we start. And he drew this diagram for me. He drew a, this little half circle. He goes, this is the space shuttle looking out. And he drew all these buttons. And then what he did was he circled four of them, or drew four circles like that. And what he's saying is, he said, in reality, it looks like a lot. But he goes, up here, just pretend this is like your navigation. This is your fuel. Uh, over here is, is uh, uh, oxygen and so forth. And, and over here are additional uh, kind of settings. He goes, now, in each one of these four sections, there's one major button that's most important. He goes, that one there, and, and so forth. So when you look at all the thousands of buttons, there's really only four main ones, and we all start there. And, and that really gave me a, that, that was a, I had a real epiphany then. Um, I started writing what's called the spherical teaching method. I developed this about uh, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, most of us learn, and we kind of think linearly, uh, starting with kindergarten and all the way through 12th grade. Um, and that's how I learned music, and I was trying to remember all the stuff that I learned, and it's pretty vast, uh, you know, after, after 12 years of, of music lessons. So what I did was, I, I, I took the idea that this gentleman gave to me, and I drew a circle like this, and in the middle, uh, I drew a circle. And I was trying to figure out, you know, what are the main, uh, what are the core ingredients of drums? So what I did was, I put all the facets of, and disciplines of drums on the outer circle, uh, like rest, rolls, sharps, flats, rough, uh, flam, phrases, clefs, time signatures, tempo, double bass, you name it, and beats and fills right here. And after looking at it, I realized beats and fills were the core of drums. And then what I did was I realized I had to start there, and then little by little I would add on what I call spices, formerly again called articulations and appoggiatures and, and, and ghost notes and so forth, uh, to the beats and fills.